So I suppose everyone thinks of the bagpipes when they think of Scotland, but actually they came really quite late to Scotland in international terms. The, the bagpipes are an international family of, of instruments. I don't think I've ever been in a European country that doesn't have its own indigenous bagpipe or in the Middle East or the Mediterranean. Probably didn't come to Scotland till the 15th century or thereabouts. So that's very late in European terms. But when they did come, we liked them. <laughs> when most people think of Scottish music, particularly Scottish bagpipes, they always think of the Highland bagpipe. But this is not the only bagpipe that's played in Scotland. The bagpipe has been here for five, six hundred years um, now. So it's a long tradition, but it's not an ancient tradition of Scotland. And when we think of traditional music, the Highland bagpipe is an important bagpipe because, of course, that's the most common of the bagpipe music we hear today. But in the past, lots of different bagpipes played traditional Scottish tunes throughout the Scottish countryside, so not necessarily just in the Highlands. These instruments not only played traditional music, but also were used in the military. And so they would play during battle to kind of give, uh, give energy to the soldiers. Because they wore kilts, they were called the ladies from hell. It was realised that the bagpipe was a very good instrument to, to um, cut through the noise of battle because they're loud and so you could play certain tunes to give certain instructions to your army. Uh, and that's what drums are usually used for in most armies. So a beating, a particular kind of rhythm, will mean something in, in the military. It might mean right flank advance or, or whatever. So um, military music to begin with was, before radio or any modern communications, was a means of communicating instructions. 